Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need fresh cream. This is cucumber. This is mayonnaise. This is chopped dhaniya patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. This is vinegar or sirka. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. And this is chopped masala powder. Add fresh cream, around 2 tablespoons. Add mayonnaise, around 1 tablespoon. Add little bit of salt or namak. And one teaspoon of this is vinegar or sirka. Now mix it nicely. Make a smooth paste. This way. Now add chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves. Mix it again. Now add cucumber or khira. Mix it again. This way. Now add little bit of chopped masala powder. Mix it well. And you are done. At the end, sprinkle some Kashmiri red chilli powder and chaat masala powder. And you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel. Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need palak or spinach. This is grated paneer or grated cottage cheese. This is chopped tomatoes. This is cube paneer or cube cottage cheese. This is jeera or cumin seeds. This is green chilli or hari mirchi. And this is adrak, that means ginger. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is jeera powder, that means cumin powder. This is dhania powder, that means coriander powder. This is garam masala powder. This is chopped dhania patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. And this is ghee. Our oil is nicely heated up, so put 1 teaspoon of this is jeera or cumin seeds. Add 1 teaspoon of this is grated adrak and 1 teaspoon of grated, the, sorry, this is chopped green chilli or hari mirchi. Let them crackle. Now add the spinach or palak. Mix it. And let them cook for a while. They have been fried for 5 minutes now. To the stage, add chopped tomatoes. Mix it.
add one teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one teaspoon of this is jeera powder that means cumin powder, and one teaspoon of this is dhania powder that means coriander powder. Add salt to taste or namak and mix it again. Let them cook again. They have been cooking for another 5 minutes now. So in the stage, add grated paneer or cottage cheese. Mix it. And let them cook for a while. They have been simmering for 2 minutes now. So in this stage, add chopped dhania patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. Little bit of garam masala powder, around 1 teaspoon. Add 1 dollop of ghee or clarified butter. And at the end, add paneer cubes or cottage cheese cubes. Mix it very gently. You're done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.